this tutorial on how to play Found You by Kane Brown. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. I'll be teaching you the verse, the chorus, and the bridge, and the chord progressions for those all happen to be the same. So it makes for a very easy song to learn. We have all open chords. There's no bar chords. So if you're a beginner, don't worry about that. And I'll also be teaching you the lick at the beginning. It sounds like this. And that's what we're going to start out with. So to start, you can place your index finger on the 2nd fret of the D string, and we're going to play the D, G, B, just like that, D, G, B. Right after you do that, you're going to place your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the A. Pinky is going to go to the 4th fret of the D, and we're going to play that string. So all together, that sounds like this. After that, we're going to play our open G, put your pinky back on the 4th fret of the D, play that, middle finger on the 2nd fret of the D, and that's it. So. So that's the introduction. Now we're going to talk about the chord progression that is played throughout the entire song. And that is with an E minor, a D, and a C. Okay, so we're going to start on our E minor. And our strumming pattern is going to go like this. We're going to go down, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Down, 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 down up. Our E minor is played with our second fret middle finger on the A string and our ring finger right under on the second fret of the D string. From there we're going to go and put our ring finger on the third fret of the B and our index finger on the second fret of the G string. Typically in a D chord you'll put your middle finger on the second fret of the high E but um, I'm leaving it off. I think it sounds a little better that way. Same strumming pattern here so stringing those two things together. Next up is the C chord. Your C is played with your index on the first fret of the B, middle finger on the second fret of the D string, ring finger on the third fret of the A. Same strumming pattern, so but on the C chord we hold for twice as long, so you can play that twice. So all together, that's going to sound like this. If you'd like to embellish that a little bit, what you can do is you can do these hammer-ons. So on the first strum, I'm hammering on, on the E minor. So I start with my index on the 2nd fret of the A, ring finger off, but I hammer on to the D string with my ring finger on the first strum. So, same strumming pattern. And on the D chord, I start with my ring finger on the 3rd fret of the B string, but I hammer on with my index finger to the 2nd fret of the G string on the first strum as well. Alright, so that's all there is to it for this tutorial. I did go through that pretty quickly, so if you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.